I want to thank the gentleman from New Jersey for his leadership on this issue and for yielding me time. Uh, Mr. Chairman, as we approach the 49th anniversary of the Supreme Court's decision in Roe v. Wade, my colleagues and I come together to remember the more than 63 million children who have had their lives cut short in this country since 1973. I stand here today for the sake of the women, for the sake of the children, and for the sake of the very future of our nation. Because of Roe v. Wade and the cases that followed its precedent, the right of the unborn to be born is denied throughout our nation more than 2,000 times every single day, and in several states throughout all nine months of pregnancy, which Roe permits. This is a great stain on this great nation. We will not be silent here in Congress, nor will the hundreds of millions of pro-life Americans across this country. My colleagues and I will continue to stand for life and fight to end the tragedy that is abortion. We will remain steadfast supporters of life and serve as voices for the voiceless and defenders of the defenseless. Mr. Speaker, I yield back the time to the gentleman from New Jersey.